in the year 1919, Count Camilo Negroni created the latest cocktail classic. Since then, the meth become the legend. And almost a 100 years later, the story continues. Hi, I'm Mireya de Guzman. I'm barmaid and I want to introduce you to Guzman Negroni. I start when I was very young, when I finished high school and I start to see whether I will devote myself to cinema or if I will devote myself to go out. And then I realized that in those nights, out from Monday to Monday, there was something that happened. Someone served you a drink or someone served you food and that there was a path there of me. And I discovered cocktails and thought, whoa, this is amazing. Later, I bumped into reality. There were no jobs and being a professional was very far because it was in the five stars hotels with big names behind the bar. Generally men, of course. But my opportunity arrived when starting my more serious professional career with mixology, trying to make mixology know as a profession because there is some work in it. That is not just someone friendly who moves a shaker. My version of Negroni is called Guzman Negroni. It's a version of Negroni that has tin, solera wine and Campari. The first thing we have to do is to choose the lemon verbena. The lemon verbena is this marvelous little plant that you see here that tastes like citrus which can replace the orange of the original version. Negroni is the aperitif in capital letters. It's a perfect balance between a drink that's alcoholic and aromatic tin and two other ingredients which are sweet and bitter. It's the clear proof that within something simple can lie something extraordinary. The first thing I'm going to do is to cut some little leaves. Some leaves of lemon verbena and make a kind of little caution after putting the leaves. I'm going to add ice cubes, big cubes, that cool down but don't dilute quickly. And now comes the truth. First the gin. I'm gonna put one ounce and a half. If you don't have a jigger, you can use a shot. What's important is that you use the same jiggers every time. The next ingredient is this liquor kind of wine, sweet wine, soleria. In Campari, this is going to add a great flavor. Colors are very important to me. We have to try and take a picture to the color, because it's also there where you can notice the balance of the drink. What I'm doing here is cooling it down and we also add a bit of water. We pour. To this Negroni, I'm going to add some leaves of fresh lemon verbena. And also with this tester, what I do is extract the front of the skin of a lemon and with a little curl. I finished decorating and perfuming it. Good man, Negroni, ready.